This is Edward. Today I'll be making an alcohol stove using this Arizona green tea can. So here I'm cutting the top off like this. So here I cut the top out. You can see there's a ton of jagged edges. I didn't do a very good job with cutting it. So um, I'm thinking to use this to sort of clamp the jagged edges in. So that should smoothen it a little bit. So you can just easily use scissors. The material here is very, very thin. So just use scissors to cut it. Now for the middle section and the bottom, I'm just going to make a straight cut down. And uh, for my stove, it's two inches, so I'm going to measure two inches and cut the bottom. This is the bottom piece. So uh, in order to make the top fit over the bottom, I'm going to be crimping it. Just giving it a little twist. So to make the top fit over the bottom, I'm going to crimp it just by twisting it a little bit like that. So it looks like this now. Let's see if I'm able to fit the top over the bottom so it does fit pretty well. Now, I don't know if I can just um, use it like this, um, but all of the tutorials seem to require this uh, inner ring inside. So I think that will seal in the alcohol better and make it burn more efficiently. So let's try to do that also. So here's the alcohol stove. Here is the inner piece. You can see it will fit snugly right in there. So that will seal in the alcohol a lot better. that. Hello, this is Edward and here I'm going to make a alcohol stove using this Arizona green tea can and I'm going to make it out of just one can. A lot of tutorials they use two cans and they just use the bottom half but here you can see that the top can also be used. So this stove over here has 26 small holes that I drilled and uh, we can compare it to the 8 hole stove that I made earlier, it has larger holes. So here are my homemade alcohol stoves. This has uh, smaller holes. This one has much larger holes um, but only 8 of them. I'm going to be testing them using heat. It's a yellow heat. So I got this bottle at Home Depot. It cost me less than $2. Uh, when I use the 70% rubbing alcohol, it didn't prime. So it took a long time and it did start to come out of the holes a little bit, but 
basically didn't work as it should. So let's try using the heat. Okay, so it's not coming out of the holes yet. You can see immediately started to burn, and the flame is quite large and high. But it's starting to prime, it's starting to come out of the holes. So it's burning a lot better than the isopropyl alcohol 70%. Okay, so right now it's definitely coming out of the holes now. Put on my water. So it's starting to burn now. Happens, we have boiling water. That's good. This is the eight hole alcohol stove. It has larger holes, and let's see how it burns. So it only took like 30 seconds to prime, so now it's coming out of the 8 holes really well. There's some wind, so, which is why it's blowing that way. That's a very strong flame. <laughs> 